<laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Right, morning guys, it's like four o'clock in the morning. I apologize, the light is really, really bad because it's literally just my car interior light. But we're gonna go out today, we're gonna shoot at the roadside for Castle Coombe Spring Action Day. So we should be seeing some interesting cars and then I'll show you sort of the photo process afterwards. Um, but yeah, it's quarter past four. I'm gonna go to Mackey's, grab a coffee and get on the road. Right, the lighting's still no better. It's still only, well, it's quarter past five now, so I've been on the road for an hour. Mackey's was shut, so I've had to drive the first hour without it, but coffee finally acquired, and it turns out they're doing breakfast here as well, which I didn't realize started at five, so I've got some cheese bacon flat breaks. Two, and yeah, I'm gonna quickly get these down me and then carry on. I should be there for quarter past six, 20 past six, but I mean, I don't think it's gonna be light enough to shoot until at least quarter to seven, so I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush, but we'll catch up again when we're there. Right, so I've been shooting now for an hour, maybe two hours. Um, I've taken almost 2,000 photos. Um, there's gonna be a lot to filter through and, and get out of it, because there's gonna be ones that are out of focus or ones where the car wasn't quite in the right position and so on, but you're rapid firing cars as they come through. Um, it's really died down now. There's not really a great deal going on. Um, two seconds. There are still cars going past, but not ones for the show. Um, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I'm sure there'll be some late stragglers, so that's what I'm looking out for. Nothing too fancy. But yeah, no, so um, all is well. The only annoying thing is someone's parked in front of me. So yeah, I've had to change lenses. I've had to go to the 24 to 70, which is new. I'll probably do a video on that. Um, I've had to go for the 24 to 70 just so I can get them in the gap because I can no longer look down the road because there's a car in the way. So, but I've got to go home at some point soon and cull through too many photos. Um, and then, yeah, I will, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna try and match the photos with a video. I've done a bit of video, so we'll see how we get on.
So it's a couple of days after Coombe now. Um, it's Wednesday, so it's been a few days. Um, I managed to get all the photos done. You've seen some there. I've got them online. Um, and the feedback and support has been really, really good. Um, so it's my first time shooting entry shots at a show. Um, and yeah, everyone has, everyone's been really lovely about it. Um, giving me really good feedback. I've had a lot of people interested in the photos. Um, and yeah, it's um, it's been really, really nice. So it's definitely something I'm going to do more of. Um, so they've got a summer action day, which I'm going to look at. And they've also got a Halloween event too. So I'm going to be looking at that. Um, and next time I probably want to go all day. So rather than just sticking around for a couple of hours beforehand and you know shooting shooting entry shots i'll probably do the entry shots and then as it dies down around that sort of 9 a.m 9 30 mark i'm probably going to actually enter the show it's definitely something that i'd like to do more of i'm going to start doing local bike nights as well so there's a bike night on tonight so probably going to be down there shooting that um but overall the experience was really good um there's a few things i'd change absolutely i uh I was using my telephoto lens, which I don't have a CPL filter for. I feel like I definitely needed one. Um, so that's something that I'm going to invest in, get the right size CPL filter for that. Um, and then I... It would just flatten out, you know what a CPL filter is. It uh, prevents glare. So depending on the angle the light is coming from, you can sort of... Um, redirect the light through the filter and it removes that glare and um, it's all to do with refraction and, and so on but um, yeah it works really really well for things like your car windows and your body panels um, and that was something I found that I was struggling with a little bit is the cars driving towards me were getting hit by the light and all of their windscreens and bits were just glared out and you couldn't see the drivers and so on and I think that would be quite a nice touch to see all the drivers so definitely something I'm going to do next time around um, I also used uh, you guys know I have a DJI pocket if you've watched the previous videos that's what I record on now in the car and I pop that up to record the videos of the cars going past and I guess what I found is that it I don't know I'm struggling with the quality of it a little bit um, it's tiny so it's only got a small sensor it's never going to be the same quality as the images are but it just feels, I don't know, I feel like a smartphone is going to record the same quality. Although it's nice having a gimbal, I don't really feel it's any better than an iPhone. So I'm looking at changing my camera. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to get a GoPro Hero 10. Um, I'm going to get a 10 and then I can get all the mounts for it. So I can have a mount in the car, whereas at the moment you're just wedged into a sun visor. Um, and I can have mounts to put on my chest so you can see behind the scenes of shooting. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be a much, much better option, but I'm hoping that the quality of that will be slightly better as well. It might not handle low light as better because it's not got the gimbal and it has to do digital stabilisation, but I think I think it will be alright. I think it will be alright. So I'm going to swap it in. Um, the GoPro is about £100 more than this, and if I swap it in now, I have to pay about £100 to get the used version of the GoPro's after. So there's, there's not really a loss to it, which is nice. So I'm going to do that at some point. Um, and then I, I need to do a video as well on the 24 to 70 um, because I've just picked that up and um, haven't had a real chance to use it yet so I've got a photo shoot on Friday for a business that's going to be the first time that I really get to, uh, stuck in with it so we'll see how we get on and yeah I'll definitely do a video on that and how different that's been to my 24 to 105 that I used to run but for now Enjoy the drive, I'm going to get my car cleaned and yeah, that's it for today. I've just arrived to my detailing place and uh, just thought I'd show you guys on the way in. I know it's going to be the end of the video, but we've got donkeys. 